Hello and welcome to Capital Online TV. My name is Anita Deru and these are the stories making headlines. Senator Mike Sonko becomes the first elected leader to step aside to pave way for investigations into graft claims. He is being investigated on suspicion of being part of a land-grabbing cartel that includes Lands Cabinet Secretary Chari Tingilu and businessman Deepak Kamani. Together with Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Chuchir, he is also being investigated for attempting to influence a Kenya pipeline tender that would have made them 1.3 billion shillings. Muranga Governor Mwangi Wairia has been released after recording a statement with EACC detectives over allegations that he provided false information to receive election clearance. His lawyer John Nganga says the governor was under investigation for lying that he had never been convicted over a criminal offence. Detectives at EACC say he did not disclose to the electoral body that he had been convicted for issuing a bad cheque when he sought clearance to contest the gubernatorial seat. ACC Vice Chairperson Irene Kano has admitted that she is under pressure to resign, but insists she will not succumb. Kano says she has already been offered a chance by unnamed people in government to become an ambassador in Brazil in exchange for her job at the commission, but she has declined. She believes all the efforts to force EACC commissioners to resign are linked to the Anglo leasing cases and investigations on the Karen land grab. She spoke a day after her fellow commissioner, Professor Jen Onsongo, resigned, citing infighting at the commission. Question is, um, I have stated that the process might have not been carried out in a transparent and accountable manner. And we have received complaints regarding that, that some of the candidates who are well qualified were left out. So for us to give this statement, I'm just sending out a message to all county governments, even the public service committees and the executive committees at the county levels, not only the Public Service Commission, that we are watching. Our mandate is to actually enforce Chapter 6 and we shall carry it out. And in other newsmaking headlines, President Uhuru Kenyatta has asked opposition leader Raila Odinga not to politicize the corruption fight. President Kenyatta, who spoke on Wednesday at the opening of the Kenya Diaspora Easter Investment Conference, said Odinga and a section of the civil society were being duplicitous when they criticized him for demanding that members of his executive under investigation for corruption step aside. This, he says, is because they had demanded that he take action on corruption. And wonder when people are standing out there and accusing me. On the one hand, they spend their time saying, this president is doing nothing about corruption. Then when we do something about corruption, then they say, oh, now you should not have done that because you should have waited for the investigative arms to do something. I think these are the cases of corruption that have been reported. I never stood there and said anybody was guilty. I said, these are the cases that have been reported. EGG Pay is a new service from Nairobi City County aimed at making life easier for residents. You can now pay your parking fees with EGG Pay conveniently with no hassle. No more hide and seek with parking attendants. No more tickets. No more bribes. To pay your parking fee with EGG Pay, first create your e-wallet if you haven't. Dial star 217 hash. Enter your details as prompted and create your e-payment pin. Top up your e-wallet via M-Pesa or Airtel Money using business number 147147 and your phone number as the account number. Finally, you can pay for your parking by dialing star 217 hash. Select two for parking. Select either one for daily. Enter vehicle registration number. Select your closest area number. Select vehicle category. Confirm payment transaction. Confirm your EGG pay pin. Then await a text message for confirmation. The process will take you just five minutes, but will go a long way in making your life easier. For more information, go to epayments.nairobi.go.ke or call 0788-200-000. EGG Pay means your right to expect service. EGG Pay. Malipo kwa urahisi. And now we take a look at news from the business desk where President Uhuru Kenyatta has assured that Kenya is safe and urged all those intending to travel to the country to ignore travel advisories issued by some Western nations. The president said terrorism is a global problem which required a global approach. He said it was unfortunate that instead of pooling resources to curb the international crime, some countries were engaging in a smear campaign. I will be the first to admit that we still have security challenges. But we as a government are doing everything that we can to ensure that we both bolster uh, uh, our, our security in all parts of, of, of this country, working with communities on issues that are community related, working on counter uh, um, 
terrorism, working on uh, de-radicalization programs, which we are investing, working on improving the welfare of our security officers, working to improve uh, the, the resources made available in terms of equipment. As I said in my statement the other day, for the first time, we have, over the last two years, added an additional 2,400 uh, police vehicles uh, to help uh, patrols in, in, in all corners of Kenya. Yeah? On average, previous to that, we were doing 200 cars a year. Now, 2,400, a huge increase. These are resources that we are putting in to improve the security and the welfare you know, of our people. And now finally, we take a look at the sports news where Africa Junior Women's 3,000-meter bronze medalist Sandra Felis Chibet will lead a 23-strong Kenyan squad to the second Africa Junior Championships. Athletics Kenya selected 14 boys and 9 girls on Wednesday for the championships following the conclusion of a two-day trial at the Nairobi's Nyayo National Stadium. And now we take a look at the financial report. And that's all we had for you today. For the latest on these and other stories, log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke forward slash TV. Um, and you can get it.